Hi, good day. I am Jishnu. In this video, I would like to share a meditation technique called Chandra Sakti Asana. My grandfather has taught me this technique. He said that this technique helps to regulate our physical and mental health at the same time. He said that when we practice this technique regularly, it even helps to cure what we commonly think as big diseases or ailments from which we have been suffering for a long time. That is, when we practice this technique continuously for about 15 minutes in the morning and evening, we can feel that the intensity of the disease reduces and soon after cures completely. I also said that this technique also helps children to improve their concentration, memory and sharpens their mind when they practice this technique. Whatever it is, as the Tirukural saying goes, we may learn things from different people, but, but the wisdom lies in discerning what we have learnt and put it into the practice. Please try to practice this technique. If it shows physical or mental benefits, please continue. Otherwise, please feel free to skip. I will explain the reason behind the name of this technique at the end of the video. Now let's practice the Chandra Sakti Asana. Please sit in comfortable position in any posture that suits you. You can sit with folded legs on a floor or with legs stretched are seated in a chair. My grandpa said, if you are able to sit in Padmasana position, it helps to feel the benefits soon because the Padmasana sitting position keeps our body stable and helps to meditate deeply without deviation. Keep your back and neck straight, straight like a sunflower on a midday, which seems think of our back as the stem of the sunflower and our head as the flower itself. That's all. First, we will see what is called full breathing. Gently inhale as much air as possible as you can in one breath and hold your breath. Without leaving out the breath, can you try to inhale a little bit more? Can you all please try? All those who say, no, I was not able to inhale anymore, did the full breathing correctly. That is, if you have done a full breathing, there should be no space in our lungs to inhale any more air. Those who are able to inhale second time, please relax and try the full breathing again. To explain how the meditation technique works, I will use this balloon. Now I will, now I will blow air into this balloon. Now I will release the air slowly. Once again I blow air into this balloon. And again I release it slowly. Now this time I will poke a hole in the balloon using a needle. Mm. Now I will close the hole tightly and blow air into the balloon. When it get released I will Release in the both holes. Air is released in the both holes. Once again, I will poke the balloon. As I add more holes to the balloon, fill it by closing. While I am releasing, air gets equally released through all the holes. What we have to understand from this balloon is similar to how we blow air into this balloon and release it, our lungs also expand to inhale air and shrink to release the air. When we do full, full breathing, we have to imagine that there are several thousand holes in our lungs and the air we have inhaled is released through the holes and exiting from our body. That is, inhale to complete full breath and release the air, imagining that this air gets released through the holes in our lungs and exiting from our body. And exiting from all the sides of our body. 
Repeat this process in the ratio for about 1 minute in the full breathing technique and complete the technique 10 times in normal breath. Reason behind the name of this technique. Just as the moon receives pure source of the light from the sun and presently reflects during the night. As same as the meditation helps us to receive air which is the stable source of life as breath and distribute it to all the organs of our body. All I ask through this video is, please follow this meditation technique regularly and if it benefits you, please like and share. Thank you. Catch your mouth.